Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're gonna keep on keeping on and doing the self company thing. And remember when I said I was gonna go to the fucking shop and pick up stuff? Well, I fucking lied. Because I just went and let the dog out, and I was like, hey, let's start recording. Because I'm just. I'm nothing short of fucking brilliant. That's all there is to it. So, yeah. We're gonna pick up some shit, and. Yeah. And, ooh, full heals. That's handy dandy. Let's pick up some hyper potions. Because we're, we're gonna need them. We're gonna need them. Because, uh, at the end of this, we got fucking Wanker. We haven't seen him in a while, have we? Holy shit, we have not. So we got fucking Wanker to deal with. And we've got, um, Giovanni once again. So, yeah. Not really worried about either of those guys, actually. Um, I think their Pokemon are all gonna be pretty much, pretty much the same level as Koga's Gym, if I remember right. So, I mean, really, if we could take on Koga's Gym, man, obviously, all the time we'll put in leveling, running through here, it won't be that big a deal. So, yeah. There's that and shit. So, yeah. Um, did we go? We went down here, didn't we? Yeah. I didn't, like I said, I still haven't looked at anything, so I'm really just running through here willy-nilly and all that good shit. Before I start... Ooh, hello. I found some iron. Well, what am I gonna do with some fucking iron? Alright, you got... Nope, you ain't gonna... You just hide in the bushes. Hiding in the bushes. Mm, oh, okay. Little guy. All right, let's do this. I'm pretty sure I just took that little teleporter and I did not need to. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so we got Eradicate here. I mean, it's, 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 it's got teeth. Fuck, that hyper thing, man. That, oh, holy shit. That wasn't, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I'll fucking take that. I figured that at least take Granker halfway. Obviously, my my assessment is flawed, but anyway. Chode's been Chode's been pretty uh, pretty useful. I know we had to like, pretty much sack him in Koga's gym, but you know he's been pretty useful at least you know against Team Rocket and all that wonderful bullshit. But you know anyway, it's it's, it's good shit. Good shit. He is good shit. He's gonna level like crazy in here, I think. And then between him and maybe Dirt Machine, not as much. Who do we have for this guy? You know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna just kind of tank our way through through uh, through this Arbok here. Yeah, you and your intimidate. Let's see if we can't get lucky with a slash. And shit. And nope. Let's go here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should we do here? What should we do about these R box? You can go ahead and use that all day, every day, son. Go ahead and bite me. That's even with the leer. That's that says something. Once again, I mean, people underestimate Sand Slash, although he's banned in whatever the fuck that bullshit is—the competitive stuff because of fucking bullshit reasons. I forgot what this guy's sending out, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with Chode. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? He brought this guy. It's this guy. Oh, look at that! I got a little lucky there. But anyway. Oh oh oh! I don't have I have I talked about this yet? The Mega Evolutions, I mean, I'm not a super huge fan of them. And I'm really not a big fan of Mudkip. I know I keep giving away all these spoilers. Cause, cause when I, when I do, when I, when I do, since I've got a pretty big Pokemon library and all that shit, when I decide to go ahead and do, um, Omega Ruby, which is what I'm gonna play. Girlfriend's gonna play Alpha Sapphire. When I do Omega Ruby, 
uh, I'm, I'm gonna go through with all with my favorite six of all time just cuz I can and since I decided to say fuck it let's just LP that anyway y'all are gonna see what my top six Pokemon are going to be um, which I have considered doing like top six lists or anything like that I mean I'm sure that sort of bullshit will bring people to the channel but ah fuck what do we want to do about this drowsy what do we want to do about this draft? Oh, weren't we choding them? Yeah, we're just gonna hang out with Cho because he's got the special defense. Really, dog. But anyway, um, when I saw the Mega Evolutions for the starters, I was not really enthused with Mudkips because. Yeah, at Mudkip is one of my. Uh, he's probably like top three, hands down. I love. I fucking love Mudkip. I don't know why. I mean, like, I think I said this before. I may be wrong, but I think I said this before. I think we're gonna roll with Stella here. And this fucking hip. No, I have a feeling this hip. No, can fuck our shit up. But, um. Fuck, what was I saying? I forgot what I was fucking saying now. Oh, about Mudkip. Yeah, well, it was. When I realized, like when I played Emerald years ago now, when I realized that that Mudkip was fucking... Did we fucking miss a goddamn fly? Seriously? Or is he faster than us? This is gonna be some bullshit if he's faster than us. But anyway, when I realized that Mudkip was ground and water and immune to electric and only had one weakness, it was a life-altering experience. I know I've said this before, and I'm pretty sure I said this on this channel. It was it was like when you realize that you can masturbate. Seriously. I was like, holy shit. My my world changed. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, holy fuck. This guy is two badass types in one. And only has one true weakness, because I started counting all that shit on my hand, because that's that's the way I think. When I look at a Pokemon pairing, I think Fuck, how many weaknesses does it have? Not how good are its stats, but where are its weaknesses? What are its weaknesses? What can it handle? What can't it handle? That sort of thing. And yeah, when I realized, I'm like, it's, it's got one weakness. Holy shit. Yeah, everything changed. Everything fucking changed. Because that is awesome on so many levels. It, it just is. I love that pairing. That pairing, in my opinion, is one of the best pairings, type pairings in the game, hands down. It really is. So yeah, but like I said, when I saw the Mega Evolutions, which I'm not a huge, big, huge fan of. I mean, it's just, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't get into them. I mean, Mega Evolutions. Eh. I mean, I'd rather them have an actual fourth evolution. Jesus, really, dog, growling over there at yourself. I'd rather have like an actual fourth evolution rather than just a mega evolution. I mean, it's it's kind of cool. I mean, like the mechanics of mega evolutions are pretty cool. Yes, but I mean, I just don't really get into it. You know. But that's just me. That's just that's just how I am. But uh, yeah, I was unimpressed with that little fucking roly poly looking thing that it is now. And and you know, Sceptile, which. I was actually going to do this. I was going to try and, and and use Sceptile, because the last time I used Sceptile in 3rd gen, like way back in the day, I was grossly disappointed. I, I, I was really, not really upset, but I was just like, holy shit, this thing, I think what it was, and I'll tell you why, is it didn't have a lot of applications on land, and fuck, are we going up against the copy? I think we are didn't have a lot of applications when you were on land. Like, it has a lot of shit to search. They're like, oh, a grass type. It'll fuck all sorts of shit up out in the wild. No, not really. You put him out there because of the way things are uh, typed in that game. Sh and and what, the, what you see. You see a shit ton of tentacles, which is going to happen when you're on the water. It's one of the most common water Pokemon in, in all of Pokemon. You're going to see a shit ton of tentacles, which is poison and water. Which means the plant isn't very effective against it. At all. Trust me, I've tried. Like a dumbass. But anyway. And then you see a shit ton of pelipers and shit. 
which those are water flying. So those fuck up grass. So basically, throughout the course of like the wild Pokemon, the trash Pokemon, in terms of grinding the thing up, it is ridiculously tough to do so because it has no real advantage as a as a uh, as a plant versus any any of the shit ton of water that you see. There's not a whole lot of caves in the game. You know, so it's like, well, fuck. When do you use a grass Pokemon in Gen 3? I think that's also one of the reasons why I didn't like Gen 3 as much, because I like grass. Grass is, I mean, whenever I play a Pokemon game, grass is always the color I use. Is this, do we need to fight? Yeah, uh, this is, okay. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm somewhere where I'm not supposed to be. But anyhow. Yeah, that's just, that's just what it is. And that kind of bugged me. So, and I think that really is the biggest reason why I don't like Gen 3, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to play it, and it doesn't mean I won't enjoy it, because I can tell you this right now, I'm going to fucking play that game, I just hope it's a long game, I hope it's not super short, X and Y I thought was a decent, I mean it wasn't super long and it wasn't super short, like the front end felt very very long and drawn out, mostly because you didn't do very many gyms, but once you get to, what was that, the third gym, the plant gym, I mean shit just went downhill after that and just started knocking out gyms left and right and center and all that good shit and it was super duper easy to do so. But, you know, and then they, and then they actually threw in a couple of small team flare things and then the bigger shit towards the end. Which was, I don't know. I, but you know how I felt about that uh, fucking Team Rocket shit. How it's kind of always, to me, felt like a fucking like a side quest, and I'm not really into that shit. Just because, yeah. I mean, I don't know. To me, I guess to me, the game and the whole point of the game and the whole main story of the game is your personal Pokemon journey. I think that's why and I mentioned this in the Fear episode. I think that's why I like that shit so much. Is because it's like. You know, when you have control, when it's your tailor-made, your personal journey, I enjoy that shit because I think, I don't know, that to me is more than enough. I mean, I don't need storylines and all this bullshit. I mean, it's nice to have a storyline and it's nice to have shit to do, don't get me wrong. And it's nice to have legendaries. But, like, still to me, the main story of the game is how I go through and the Pokemon that I choose and the journey that I take and you know the battles that I have I mean because obviously you know depending on the Pokemon you use every battle is going to be different I mean very few people are going to you know line up these games and play these games every time with the exact same Pokemon and fight everybody in the exact same order and use the exact same Pokemon in the exact same order I mean that's just just the numerical possibilities of shit you can and can't do that way are, are huge but anyway, I'm gonna continue that little little rambling diatribe. Is that, is that, is that the word? I, I don't know. My my vocabulary is terrible right now because I yeah. Anyway, um, if you've made it this far in YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, pants are optional.